Good, happy Sunday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. Break in at State House under investigation. Surveillance video captured a man inside the State House around 1 a.m. Saturday, pacing around the basement, then setting sitting down on a bench near the cafeteria. He's wanted for breaking into the nearly 200-year-old building and vandalizing artwork. Part of Route 113 in Plymouth area closed after multiple vehicle accidents. Part of Route 113 near Plymouth was closed due to a multiple vehicle accident Sunday morning. Police said the accident happened near Willingby Ridge Road. Crews are on scene. Details about the accident and if there were any possible injuries are currently unknown. There is no word on when the road will be reopened. Hundreds March in Black Lives Matter protest. Hundreds gathered in downtown Manchester on Saturday night for a Black Lives Matter rally. For our concerns and in light of violence at other rallies across the state, the country, Manchester police shut down Elm Street for hours. Saturday's march was peaceful. Activists started at Veterans Park and walked down Elm Street to Bridge Street, then looped back. Kerry, Turkish President's Institution of U.S. Role in Attempted Cope are Harmful to Our Belafters Relations. Tension between Turkey and the U.S. escalated Saturday as Secretary of State John Kerry took issue with Turkish President intensely that the U.S. played a part in this weekend's failed cope that left 265 dead and 1,044 wounded. Attack in Nice. Two arrested day after ISIS claims truck attack in France. Let's take a listen to this video from CNN. This is the face of the man who brought terror to the streets of Nice. Mohamed Boulel, a young, small-time criminal, who French authorities say was not known to have any links to terrorism. It seems that he became radicalized very quickly. ISIS has claimed the 31-year-old was one of their soldiers who heeded their call. But questions still remain as to whether he received a direct order by the terror group or was simply inspired by their ideology. Investigators are looking to answer that. They're digging deep into his life. Some neighbors in his apartment building describe him as a bit of a loner, quiet, and even odd. He never spoke. He didn't speak to anyone. He was always alone with his bike, and he drank alcohol during Ramadan. I lived under a murderer. This is his apartment. As you can see here, the door has been completely blown out. And if you look through the keyhole, you can see the place has been thoroughly searched. Cupboard doors open, drawers strong all over the floor. From the outside, his life looked almost ordinary. A delivery driver with three children 
who according to one neighbor was never mean. French media describe him as the man who loved bodybuilding and salsa dancing. But those closest to him paint a picture of a disturbed individual. He was of a nervous disposition. He would become angry, he would shout, and he would break everything that was in front of him. His unstable character didn't go unnoticed or unpunished, with authorities coming face to face with him only two months ago. He was charged with armed assault. There was an altercation in a public road among two drivers and himself, which involved a wooden pallet, which was thrown by him. Slowly a picture is emerging of Mohamed Boulal. It's up to authorities to determine now whether his actions were driven by rage or radicalization. Isa Suarez, CNN, Nice, France. Okay, and there you have it on that report. And that did it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you back here later on. Goodbye, everyone.